we bring to you the inspired word of God as you listen to the teachings and preachings of a servant of God, Hosanna David, preaching the end time gospel. The full grown human being, if I tell you the moment the journey of a full grown human being starts, a human being starts in a very minute, small way that could be neglected. But I tell you, give that small thing time. It will grow. Time. Time. Give it time. One swallow lambo ball. to you today. You know why we are praising you. You know why we are singing to you. Lord, we are not worthy to even praise you. But because you have granted us access, here we are in your presence. Father Lord, we say thank you. We will never, even if we forget where we are going to, we can never forget where we are coming mm. from. Thus far, God has helped us. You are our Ebenezer. We do not forget where we are coming from. But even as we continue to look up to you, we know that hope will not fail us. We therefore pray that you sprinkle the seeds of your word upon our hearts. Let souls be blessed. Let dry bones be revived. Let people who are hopeless say, I am strong. In the name of God the Father, Amen. And of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Epanoruyo, Are you happy to be in the presence of God? Open your Bibles to Romans. Chapter 5, verse 5, and hope maketh not a shame. Look at your neighbor, eyeball to eyeball. Look at your neighbor. Ask your neighbor. 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 You bring your Bible. What did he talk? If you have a Bible, let me see your Bible here. If you have a copy of the Holy Bible, don't raise your phone. Don't raise your phone. Raise your Bible. <laughs> Please always come with a copy of the Bible. It's very, very important. Now look at your neighbor again. Say, neighbor. Yeah. God, no go shame us. <laughs> Make who want talk, make it talk. Mouth when talk one, go talk two. We have been in this country ravaged by mosquitoes. Mosquitoes everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And there is a very good insecticide that we use called sniper. Sniper is costly, but once you sprinkle it, the mosquitoes will flee. Cockroaches will die. Very, very powerful. I now heard some months ago that they have banned sniper. Why? Because people were drinking sniper anyhow. Anyhow, people jumping into lagoons, people jumping into the river because of only one thing. Because of the loss of hope. 
because of the loss of hope. Today, sniper is very costly in the market. People were drinking it to commit suicide. People were just giving up, giving up, and ending their lives. The life they did not give to themselves, they were taking it. You can't give life, but you took life because of hopelessness. I saw someone, recently I was watching on YouTube, a boy who had bonds, 95, about 90 to 95 degree of bonds. The hands were burnt off. Both hands were burnt off. The whole body, you don't see any skin. It's just small thing. In his head, you see a small portion of hair, very tiny. And he said, naturally, I'm a happy person, and I was looking at him. Did he kill himself? Look at your Bible again. Now we are going to read from verse 1, Romans 5, 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into the grace wherewith we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience experience and experience hope. Verse 5. Can everybody read it together? And hope... Make us not ashamed, because the love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given to us. Say amen. amen. There is so much hopelessness. As a matter of fact, in this country, each time we run elections, for many years now, many decades, we now begin to count when another election will come so that we can change leadership. The recent one was, oh, we need change, 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 and the change we have received. And people who asked for change, even me, I was happy. I was happy, I said, at least, at least, maybe this is the will of God, let's accept it, at least things will change. From a military point of view, Today, the military point of view has failed us. Now we need change. But there is one thing that we need more than change, and that is hope. Because the change will definitely come. But if hope, if our hope cannot survive us, we will not see it. Hope shall not disappoint us. God, no go shame us at all. There are some of us that may be asking God, God, why is my life like this? Me, I have asked those questions. In fact, I asked them so much that I finished them. I don't have any other one to ask again. God, why me? I finished all my, God, why me? I finished all those questions. Remember some years ago, we were coming from the farm in Uzere. We were telling stories. At a point, the person in front of me was no longer hearing from me. I was at his back. When he turned back, he saw me crying. And it was almost a daily routine. Cry every day. It became a part of my life. But I know that if we can look up to God and do not give up on ourselves, if we do not give up on the promises of God, we must surely arrive. The truth is that it will only take time. How many of us have seen ourselves in a vehicle and then you see somebody trekking? After a while, when you stop, maybe after getting to where you are, you now discover that the person that evil trek is passing you in a go slow, in a hold up. Have you seen it before? And you say, look at somebody that is striking. It's a matter of determination. If you do not stop, you will get there. There is a kind of boat. There is a boat in the river. And they call, peck, peck, peck. Peck, peck, peck. You know it. You know it. Peck, peck, peck. It doesn't move 
fast. If you are in a speed boat, speed boat will move. Boom! But back, 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 we always get to his destination. It's called back, back, back because it doesn't move fast. It's very, very slow. Very, 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 very slow. Some of us, we are overtaking God because the speed of God at a particular time, at one point in time, is not enough for us. But do you know what is called a tortoise car? Eh? If you overspeed it, it will catch fire. I mean, beetle, 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 beetle's car. Eh? Tortoise car. If you overfire, it will do what? It will catch fire. And some of us, we are on a very high speed. Because we believe that the speed of God is too slow for us. And we need to overtake some of our neighbors. If you do not give up, if you can continue to hope in God, this will definitely get better. Now, hope is not enough. Hope is not enough. When we were young, we we'll sit by the roadside, and then we begin to we sit by the roadside, and we see five five cars passing by, and we we'll say, "If this car is my own, now me see him first. This car is my own. Now this one I go by. Who did it here? <laughs> Have you bought those cars? <laughs> where, <laughs> where are they? Is this car? This? No, no, no. This one in. Okay, don't worry. My own will come. Yes, this one is my own. This one is my own." Aspiration, we aspire to be very, very big. But the size of your dream determines the number of obstacles and the height and the depth of obstacles you are going to make in life. The, that you are going to meet in life. If you are just by, uh, you are uh, in a football field and you are by the goalposts, of your own side, people may not have problem with you. But the moment you cross the line and you are by the goalpost of the opponent, you become a point of attack. Because people know that you are going to score the goal. The pharaohs in Egypt, many pharaohs came and they were never bothered. But when it came to the time of the Israelite coming out of Egypt, something went wrong in the spirit realm. There was a signal, there was a bell that the people they have been enslaving for over 300 years, the people are about to live in Egypt and they said, every male child must die. Some people take their own lives. The money of the very day the appointment arrived. Let me tell you, there is no problem that has no solution. In fact, problems will always come with their solutions. Look very well. Let me give you an assignment. In the evening, look at the sky. Just continue to focus on a particular place. You will see an image in that place. Just take your time. It may be a bed. It may be an animal. But there will always be a, an image you will see there. Just look at any point in the sky. You will see something. It could be a flower. It could be something. But I mean something familiar. Some of us, we have become so busy. Too busy that we no longer even have time for God to speak to us. I tell you, the early hours of the morning after you have slept and woken up is very, very powerful. Unfortunately, that is when some of us go to social media and begin to update our status, look at WhatsApp, you leave WhatsApp to Instagram, from Instagram you go to YouTube, from YouTube you go to Pinterest, from Pinterest you go here and there and there and there. Before you know it, no time for money devotion. And then the prayer plus God minus devil. And you are going. And the angel of the Lord, the spirit of God that's supposed to give you ideas, will be so, will now become disappointed because there is no communication. When Daniel and the other three Hebrew uh, uh, 
uh, children, when they met with a region to crack, they told the king, don't worry, give us time. We are going to ask our God, just give us time. They went into their closet and they asked God, God, what do I do? A man who we always meet God in the secret will never be confused in the public. What do we need to do for hope not to shame us? I cited an example of how we used to say, this car, Namigo Bayan, this car, I'm going to be, this car, I will be this kind of ass. I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that. As a matter of fact, on the day we are doing a career day, children's career day. See children dressing like lawyers, some dressing like daughters. I have never seen anyone holding a woven basket that I want to be selling tomatoes in the Gudu market. Have you seen anyone? In fact, if you are my child, you can't try them. Eh? Say now basket, now you carry, say now tomatoes you won't sell. You look for your papa that day. <laughs> but along the line, if you go to the riverine area, you see water lettuce traveling to their destination. You see this grass floating on top of the water. Some do not get to their destination. They hang along the way, and before you know it, Water abates and they dry up. But there are some that we get there. That is how, do you know that? That is how many people who had dreams gave up on their dreams. I was talking with a little girl uh, two days ago and she was telling me people who got pregnant during the lockdown, children, school children who got pregnant and they never return back to school again. Do you know anyone? Let me see your hand if you know anyone. I'm not saying you are the one, but let me just see if you know anyone. Yes. In fact, some said, I'm no longer going to school again. I remember a day, I think 2004, I told my mom, I repeated this several times, and one of the times I said it, I said, Mama, so far is too much. I won't go to school again. I was in secondary school. I said, I want to stop. My mother shouted at me. That evil spirit that was speaking through me left me. It jumped out by force. Open your Bibles to James chapter 1. James 1. Verse 2, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Even the situation you are in now can make you to become what God wants you to be. There are some children we call our Greek children. Our Greek children. What would he call a jebota? Eh? If they see, for instance, millipedes, they will call their mommy to come and kill millipedes for them. But the original worry child, eh? <laughs> the real, no, not Paco. <laughs> The original worry child, anywhere you go to, if you are from worry, they will recognize you. Because the situation of worry is so tough. It is majority poor among few rich people. So the environment has cooked people to react to difficult situations in a, in a particular way. What you know they carry last? It's true. Because when they see situations, they want to face it. I'm not talking about the rascality. I'm not talking about rascality. But if you meet an Ajebota, there is a way they live their lives. They are very soft. Why are they so soft? Because they have not been tested by fire. They have not been tested. There are some children, they are blessed. I tell you, they are blessed. 
They are blessed. You know, there are some people that were born with silver spoon, some with golden spoon, some we even die with diamond spoon. There are some with wooden spoon. There are some with plastic spoon. There are some that were born without any spoon. In fact, the spoon their fathers were born with, they borrowed it. So when they grow up, they need to pay for their father's spoons first. They pay for that one before they now start looking for their own spoons. You may not know what life is until you grow up and you start selling nylon back in the market and your mommy will ask you, my son, my child, what have you today for us to eat with? You may not know what life is, but I tell you that we once had a president who said when he was going to school, he went to school without school. Without what? Now you talk him. He went to school without school standards. And I tell you today, the man is in money. Don't give up. Don't give up on your God. Don't marry a husband and give up on your husband. There was a man who, who was having an issue and then we talked. He said, I cannot change. This is the way I am. I have told you, this is the length I can go. And we were saying, there is a problem. He said, no. But you know that. A few weeks later, the woman sent me a message. I said, my husband has changed. I said, thank God. I called him. I said, thank you very much for the change. About two weeks ago, she sent me pictures of a jeep. A car the man bought for him. Don't give up on your marriage. Don't say, this woman cannot change. If I, this woman will kill me, this man will kill me. You cannot be in a marriage and your love is somewhere else. Let me tell you, look for something good around that man. Even if it is honorary smile that is smiles in the morning and throughout that day you don't see it again. Hang your love on that morning smile. And marry that morning smile. Forget about the other side. Stand on his good to walk on his bad. One day, God will show up and he will cry on his knees. We are living in a time where boys, boys are carrying laptop, 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 hustling, trying to make a living. And because there are some who are carrying laptops, Sir said, these boys, if I see you with laptop, to hell with you. And I tell you, there are many boys today who are deeply into Yahoo. Some of them don't even believe that it is stealing. Some of them don't believe. I wanted to buy a software recently. I saw it on Facebook, the advert, and I click, okay, let me buy. When I go to the page where you're supposed to pay, they said, this country is blocked. Do you know how many websites and markets Nigerians cannot access? Because of what? Because some people have given up. Let me tell you, Nigeria is independent. 60 years ago, are we really independent? The oil in my community, I don't know the allergy. Pocket is entering. Are we independent? Let me tell you, the definition of Nigeria's independent is that the government is dependent while the citizens are independent. For, for a country to consecutively produce mediocres for 60 years, imagine the kind of citizens that country is going to produce. But I know we will not give up. One day, God will release a man. Somebody say, God will release a man. I know this nonsense will stop. Some people in this country will run automatic push, non-stop until they release our billions in their accounts. But I tell you, we are living in an earthly hell. Don't give up. God will show up even in this country. I know a man who says, what am I going to do in abroad? Because I make my cool millions here in Nigeria. God will bring your own to you. If you want to go into Yahoo, 
If you are planning to go into duping people, kidnapping people, all those things, they will not last. There is a saying that ill-gotten, ill-spent. There is a sister who told me something and the thing entered my body and became a part of my bone marrow. She said, if it is God's bill, if it is God's will, it is God's bill. That means God's will, God's bill. If it is God's will, God will provide the money for the bill. Continue to hope on God. Don't come into the presence of God. People are dancing. People are dancing and you are looking for a cute man to sit by him on the front of him because you want to attract attention. Don't come to the house of God and begin to look at people's hands whether we are, we are wearing rings or not. Focus on your God. Make I ask you one question. Woman or man, where you marry for disco hall, when you see for disco hall, 12 a.m. in the night, which life you want to use and live to fulfill your destiny? Eh? Person, when you marry with push up like this, like say, we don't get moon, now you get moon, now you get sun, so you, now you the shine light give us. How, which kind of life you want to use and live that they travel, leave woman for her so? No, no, say that they travel, that they stay three months. Sometimes that they stay six months. Eh? Okay. Oh, yeah, try them now. <laughs> when, when what is outside has attracted your attention, you will not start knowing what is inside. But I tell you, it is what is inside that keeps the marriage going. What is outside gives the first impression and attraction. Wait upon God. I like that sister that gave that testimony. She said they broke her heart after two uh, introductions, nothing again. And she gave an advice. If they broke your heart, do, if they break your heart, don't do what? Open your heart for another person that is sincere. Madam, come and buy, come and buy. You don't want to buy, you are doing your guy, you are going. Another person that will buy it is coming. Don't make yourself sheep. Let me tell you, there is something that does not depreciate. Even if you buy a land where there is water today, give it five years' time. The money will never come down. It will go up. That is how a human being is. They continue to invest in yourself. And no husband is coming, no job. Look for something doing. And invest in yourself. You are with a man who you are forcing him to live life. Take a course and be going to school. When you become a master degree holder or a doctor, when he won't address you, sometimes when he heads their house, he will address you where? Sometimes if he won't slap you, say, now nah, doctor, you won't slap so... Don't give up on your God. Don't go to all these babalawo that have signed but as churches. Here, yeah, our own is very, very plain. We don't cajole you. We don't even trick you. We don't tell you, say it like this. We don't do that. These honorary church members, church members, these are the people that screen the testimonies. The vicar does not even know them, that this person wants to testify. The ministers, they don't know. We don't arrange miracles here. If God has not attended to you, you are on the queue and it will certainly get to you. Yeah. Be on your feet, let us pray. <clears throat> God, no go shame us. If you not shame yourself, your God will not shame you. Father, Lord, we thank you. Hope 
make it not ashamed. Even if we are in millions, but do not have hope for tomorrow, we could just be existing without actually living. It is hope that makes us to be alive and living at the same time. May we not just exist in this world, but help us to live. It is the living that have footprints in this world. That wherever we go, we will see our footprints behind us. As many that are facing different challenges, Father, we pray that you will lift them up. If you continue to lift your eyes up to God, where your help comes from, I said that God will not disappoint you in the name of Jesus. Lord, the more we live in this world, may our hope continue to grow. Thank you for your word that we have heard. Jesus' mighty name we pray. We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website, www.hosannadavid.com. Email us at info at hosannadavid.com. God bless you.